Hey guys, what's up? Cromando here, and um, I'm going to make a review of NXT from last night. I just watched it, and um, it was absolutely incredible. I've never made a review for one of these, the weekly shows, but this might have been the best overall episode of NXT I've ever seen. Like, it was just amazing, and yes, I look a little bit different. I've shaved my beard, I've shaved my hair. I do look a little bit weird when I see myself. I got used to the beard a little bit, but... This episode was incredible, truly incredible. Uh, I'm going out on it and I'm saying this is the best episode of NXT overall episode I've ever seen. Like it was just amazing, um, and I've seen every episode from back in the NXT Redemption to when it originally started with Wade Barrett and all them guys to what it is now. I've seen them all, um, but I was gonna get straight into it. This was just awesome, um, but it started off with, like a recap thing from yeah uh, yeah. Uh, takeover Rival, which, you know, was awesome. I was just sitting there and, and I was loving it. And, like, I usually, <clears throat> what I do is, because I'm usually really tired, well, I was really tired, and I usually need a drink of, like, an energy drink or something to um, to keep me going through, like, Raw and stuff. I always need one for Raw. Um, and I was really quite tired today, and then, then NXT happened, and, and I didn't even need one. Well, I had one, but I didn't need it, because this show was just incredible. Um, but there was a thing with William Regal saying that he's he's like the authority figure or what have you, and he booked Kevin Owens for Adrian Neville for tonight for the main event, which I'll get to in a little bit. Um, it was amazing. Um, Kevin Owens came, comes out to the ring and he had a promo, pretty good promo, just like basically, basically saying that he fights for his um his his family and to get money and what have you. It's it's a pretty badass kind of heel heel uh, character that he's portraying. Um, we spoke about Finn Balor a little bit. I don't know how, how that's going to play out, but we'll uh, see how it happens. It's, it'll be pretty interesting, I'm guessing. Um, who I beat or how I beat them is relevant. What matters now is that Sami Zayn is the past. I'm just looking at um, uh, the Bleacher Report. It's got quite a detailed thing. <laughs> they've graded they grade a day for that, and then they've graded a day for the next bit, which was just amazing. This the first match was just, and um, I heard that the crowd went wild because I had a look at the spoilers. Rhino returns to NXT. Like I couldn't remember his theme song, and when it came on, I still didn't really remember it. Like I could see like the the like, Rhino walking about, and then Rhino showed up on the screen, and the crowd just went freaking mental. Rhino comes out, and they're just going to go on mental holy shit chance um, and he beat this guy Elias Sampson just with a belly belly suplex thing gore the crowd was just going absolutely insane so was I it was just awesome um, Grady again from the Bleacher Report people um, it was just really cool to see to see Rhino he hasn't been in WWE in like 10 years or something which and for him to come back and the crowd just to love him is just uh, insane but I loved it I really did it was sweet to see Rhino back, and he's supposed to. And after the match, he went to um, like Finn Balor was doing a promo, and then right, it was so random. He just walks past and looks at him, and then he just gives this weird, creepy smell, like, and then walked away. <laughs> it was so random, um, but it was really cool. Um, and next, we had um, the Vaude villains um, versus Enzo Amore and Big Cass and. Enzo Mori had this absolutely ridiculous beard. It was just hilarious. It's, he's like bleached it, and then the mustache part, he's like, he's like got it normal, like black or brown or whatever. It just looks so random. It just badass. Enzo was always vintage Enzo, basically. Um, <clears throat> but oh yeah, that was after the match. Yeah, and uh, Enzo doing his usual awesome promo at the big start. Him and Big Cass. I heard somebody saying that they. They were thinking they might break up because, like, at the house shows, they've been like losing and stuff, and like Enzo's been costing the match or something. I really don't want them to break up. These are guys that just shouldn't break up. I kind of feel Cass might get lost in the shuffle, maybe. But, it, but when Enzo was injured, Cass, you know, he was doing well on his own. He was doing really good. So you never know. They could be all right. But I would rather they stay together. And um, they're much better together, in my opinion. Um. A uh, pretty good short little match between Enzo and, and the VOD villains. Enzo, they won with this pretty sweet move. What was it again? 
Uh, oh yeah, he casts through Enzo right, right into um, one of the vaude villains, and then he like the guy, but he was in the turnbuckle. He, Enzo got thrown into him, and then he came running out, and then boot in the face, um, and then Enzo ran in pin. It was it was pretty sweet. <laughs> Great day again. Um, oh yeah, he called him Butterscotch Gotch. That was the guy's highlight. <laughs> Was pretty pretty good, and afterwards, um, uh, Murphy and Blake came on, and well, they're they're clearly heel now. They were just uh, sort of like f flirting with Carmela and um, telling her she should come to them or just be like a real man or something. Um, just you know, so I just totally mocking the uh, Enzo and that as well. Um, but it's like it's. it's the thing I, I love about NXT is that all the feuds, even if it's short matches and that, they're they're building the feuds and there's stories for these matches that you actually are interested in. Like it isn't the same on Raw. And I was just looking through the comments on the bleacher th the bleacher thing, which I recommend going have a look because um, I'm sure you'll agree with pretty much everything they're saying. Um, but you like you're invested in these storylines and you're, you want to see what's going to happen, and it doesn't get like blown out in like a week because you don't see them every week or 17 times a week because you know they're on Raw and Smackdown and Main Event and everything um, like you maybe see Enzo, you maybe won't see him again for another two or three weeks or something um, but you never know, it might, it might be a little bit different um, maybe just be like two weeks or something you know if there's like a story building between the between the two teams, I'd probably say two weeks and you'll probably see him again um, which I think is good because because I think Enzo's like my favourite, like promo wise he's my favourite and like when I was first started watching it, like when it turned into this format of NXT like I was always wanting more, I was always wanting more Bray Wyatt when he first started um, and I always wanted to see Enzo more and that. And I think that's a, uh, that's something NXT does really well, like people will say oh NXT should go to two hours but it really shouldn't, I, th I think it would just end up being like Raw being too much and you'd get a little bit bored I think because there's you'd be seeing these guys too often and um, I think it's fine at an hour I really do um, but yeah on to the next part it was oh yeah CJ Parker came out and was doing like a like a sort of like a protest thing and he was saying he was going to take over the show or stop the show or something and he was um, Oh yeah, he was pissed that he didn't get shown on the in the NXT Takeover Arrival special, and he had like he started out cautioning, putting this caution tape around the ring, and um, then sort of like the hacking noises was coming up on the screen. The crowd was going a little bit wild, just a little bit, and then then that thing came up saying this is not a test, and then um, out of nowhere Solomon Crow comes out, and like I'd seen little bits of the guy, but I'd never really seen a lot of him. He's He's a crazy look he's got. It's a, it's a good look. I like it. He looks he's pretty badass. Um, and he attacked him. And he did this uh, pretty sweet move. Uh, like he got him down and then he sort of like... was against the ropes and then he sort of jumped up and went against the rope and then went flying down with a splash. It was pretty sweet. Um, so maybe they're going to feud Solomon Crow, C.J. Parker are going to feud. Be interesting to see what goes, what goes down there. And C.J. Parker's a great heel and even though he... He doesn't get a champion or that, but you're, he's, you know, he's doing good things for what he's, for, like, what he's given, you know? I think he's just doing, he's doing well, and I think he'll probably, he'll get his shot eventually, I think. Maybe a while, because there's so much, so much talent in NXT, but, uh, you know, he'll, he'll get there, he'll get there. Um, and then he, oh yeah, he said, now we return to your regular scheduled broadcast. And then, <laughs> he just left. It was pretty sweet. Um, they gave it a B plus. I thought they were going to go A for everything. Um, mm -hmm. Next, next part was this was pretty funny. I couldn't believe they actually got a um, a thingy for uh, blue pants. They actually got a like a graphic picture. You know when they show the the, the match is coming up. I can't believe they actually had a thing for her and it actually said blue pants and and then 
she actually comes out and she's got it's just basically when Big Cass was uh, introducing her. That's that's her theme song. It's just him going. Nah, 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 nah. I think it's apparently it's like the Price Is Right or something theme song. I don't know. I don't live in America, so I don't really know. Um, and <laughs> the the um, the Titantron thing is just blue, and then just like these really, it just looks really cheap and cheesy. Just just pants, you know. It looks just looks really cool. Just just you know, brilliant. You know, it just you, this would never happen on the main roster. Um, it's just it's just good, you know. The crowd was you know split between blue pants and it was she was against it was she was against Sasha Banks. Um, I thought she was actually gonna win. It would have been it would have been really surprising if she won. Um, but Sasha Banks uh, eventually won it. That she did that double knees in the corner thing. Oh my god, that thing that move is so sick. Um, I really really like it, and it looked really bloody painful. Um, then she heard the the bank statement and uh, Blue Pants was tapping, and uh, Sasha Banks she had a promo afterwards, saying that she's the baddest diva in NXT, and they gave it a great A. Um, and the th another thing I love about NXT is, uh, like some people says, oh they have just as short matches as, as Raw does. And I'm like, yeah, but there's one thing, major thing, that doesn't happen in NXT, but happens all the time in the main roster. There's rest, there's no rest holds at NXT, but there's tons of them on Raw. Like, the, ma the matches are short, but they're action-packed, you know, like on Raw or that, they'll just be rest holds within 60 seconds, you know? So stupid. Well, this is action-packed, you know, the entire time, and telling a story and what have you, you know, it's just good you know it's so good I just love NXT it's just it just makes me proud to be a wrestling fan you know it's, it's just amazing uh, mm -hmm. okay now we go on to the main event which blew my mind there was a couple of ma uh, spots here that was just insane oh my god we'll get to it we'll get to it um, I thought we was gonna get the same thing again with Owens, uh, you know, going out the ring, but and he was just looking around like at the Titan Tron, you know, laughing, and then out of nowhere, just Neville just BAM! Forearm right in the face, starts pummeling him. Um, it was good, good, you know, but eventually Owen came back and, you know, was doing his stuff. Uh, or maybe this was, maybe this happened before, I don't know, just going by the recap. Um, Oh yeah, Neville did this this moonsault uh, on the out to the outside, and it looked like he was gonna hit Neville was gonna hit the apron with his face, but he didn't. He managed to, you know, get his hands up, because um, I thought he was he was awful close to the to the to the apron, um, but he, you know he, he managed it. He was okay. He was good. Uh, they started chanting NXT NXT. Um, Oh yeah, and then this this was a pretty sweet spot. People were people are loving this. Uh, eventually, he hit like a drop kick, and then Owens was lying outside, and I was just like, "What the hell is he a way to do?" Neville goes on the apron, and the crowd's standing up and looking, and he does a 450 splash off the apron onto the ground onto Kevin Owens. Insane, absolutely insane. Um, now, here's the next, this is the next part that absolutely blew my mind, right? Neville did a German suplex, you know, just a regular kind of one. And then the next part, I was just like, what the fuck? I just totally, just marking out, like, it was amazing. He hits this deadlift German suplex on Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is a big guy. And he, he, he lifts him up and he's standing there. With Kevin Owens up, and he hits a, a, a slow German suplex into the bridge. My mind was freaking blown. Like, it was insane. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, and, the match, and the match kept going. Um, Kevin Owens... Uh, oh, yeah, the, cr the crowd was chatting. This is awesome. I was just I was just going nuts at this point. It was just amazing. Um, Neville had a super kick. Then he was away to hit the red arrow. Uh, Owens rolled out of the way, and then he cut the pop-up power bomb to win it. Um, amazing, absolutely amazing. They give it an A plus. It was, it was just insane. I, if people like in the spoiler thing were saying that was better than 
uh, the takeover rival main event. I agree. It was. It was just. That was an amazing match. So so good. Really really good. Like the book the booking for the show was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Definitely the the best episode of NXT that I've seen. Like it was just so so good. Really really good. Um, be interested to see what happens next week. Um, first in a continuation with Rhino. Like I said, I just flick through the spoilers. I don't like to read them. Like I, I, I read more of them now than I did say a year ago because I used to just not really read them at all. Um, but I just sort of have a flick through, see if anything sort of, you know, piques my interest. Bloody bit of dust. Um, I'm just seeing what they're saying. They're not really saying anything. Yeah. But it was really good. Really, really good. If you didn't see it, if you're not watching NXT yet, people, get your eyeballs on it. That's why I have the network. It's That is why I got the network, is NXT, because, um, the, like, the international versions of NXT and, and superstars and stuff get, like, really edited. Um, the thing is just due to TV and the commercials and what have you. Like, they edit it down to like 42 minutes or something, Well, the network version is like 55 minutes usually. And I just got fed up last year, it was May. Like, I just got pissed off and I was like, that's it. And, and I looked up and I found a onlocator.com. Um, and I got, um, so I could get the WWE Network from here in Scotland. And, you know, it's, it's why I have it. I don't watch the pay-per-views on it, because, like, the video players are a bit weird at times. Sometimes it's okay, and other times it's not. I just watch the pay-per-views on, um, on Sky, even though it costs £20 now, but I, I don't care. I'd rather have, you know, quality over... Quality? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but... Like, I just watch... It's just as this episode was going on, I was like... I think I'm going to make a review for this because this is awesome, you know, it was just brilliant from start to finish, you know. Um, it was really, really good, I loved it. Um, I really want to hear your thoughts, so tell me what you thought of it. I um, uh, just, I was just marking out so bad in this in this, this ne Adrian Neville match with Kevin Owens. The German suplex just blew me away, like it really did. It was just incredible. Um, I think there was another space. Oh yeah, they did look at Tornado DDT. Um, I st I don't know how they do that. Like the spiked DDT. Oh, the the other moment. The other moment. It, how did they not mention it? The sick. Uh, maybe they did. Did they? Uh, I don't think they did. Mm, no, they didn't. But the Tornado DDT. Sp I don't know how they do that. I think it's without hurting themselves, just, it's sick, but he, he got a super kick, I think, and then he hot the reverse Hurricane Rana, spiked Hurricane Rana, oh my god, that was sick, I've seen it, I've seen them when they did that, it, uh, take over, I think it was Our Evolution, uh, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, and that, uh, that was, blew my mind then, it blew my mind again, it just looks so sick, you know, it's just amazing, <sighs> NXT, I love NXT. I, d I didn't need that energy drink tonight. You know, th this was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> you gotta love it. You gotta love NXT. Oh, man. If if you're not watching NXT yet, you know, and, you s and you're sticking with the main roster, you know, yeah, you're really missing out, you know. It's, compared to a year ago, like, so many more people are realizing that NXT is, you know, oh god, my screen, is, um, you know, wrestling done right, and, you know, Triple H, uh, I think Triple H honestly could save WWE if, if, uh, Vince, you know, if Vince wasn't in power, um, and a lot of people say that that won't happen until he dies, well, it kind of sucks, you know, because I'd kind of like to see it happen. Not Vince dying, you know, I, I, that sounds bad, but Triple H, you know, being in in control. Like, he, you know, he says about Raw being three hours being too much, um, which so many people agree with. Um, like, if 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 you were seeing this, if you're seeing NXT, the, the, what you're seeing on NXT, on Raw and that, like... 
I honestly think you could have uh, like another attitude error, like not to to the extent of the attitude error, but I honestly think you'd have a lot more people watching um, if this kind of wrestling was happening. I really do. I think you'd bring back some of that that older fans that was a fan then. Uh, I really do think Raw could grow if they were seeing this type of product and um, like the more creativity they have and um, lack of you know scripted promos you know being allowed to you know say what they want or or at least being having more freedom in their promos and their characters and their matches and what have you I honestly think it would help you know I really do like people say some people say Cesaro isn't good in the mic or that well maybe if he wasn't scripted you know and he was given a lot more freedom he'd come off more natural you know he's he's not an actor he's a wrestler you know Maybe, maybe that would help him. Maybe that would help a lot of people. Um, like even Brock Lesnar sounds really weird now. Like I mean, he was good back in the day, but he just sounds kind of, you know, it just sounds forced, you know. Like I mean, I was watching that Brock Lesnar Eddie Guerrero thing, you know, like the celebration thing where Brock's pretending to be like a Mexican and that. He's he sounds really good then, but like now it he, he just sounds really forced. Um, but. But uh, NXT, man, just so good. So, so good. I love it. I can't believe I spoke 21 minutes, but it's NXT, baby. You gotta love it. You really gotta love it. Um, oh, man, so good. So good. Um, but so tell me what you thought of NXT. Um, uh, I doubt that uh, Fastlane will even be better than that, you know. How could you top that? That was just so good, you know. Um, and also NXT was taped, they taped more stuff last night, uh, uh, which should take them up to, took them up to like, I believe just before WrestleMania, I think it was like March sometime, I've got the, uh, I've got the thing here, see what, what they taped up to, Rhino was in it a couple of times, I know that, uh, they taped up to, oh my god, they taped up to April, they taped up to 15th of April. That's insane. Okay. Um, but the last episode they only taped two matches. So the two matches really long. It was like a Divas match. I won't spoil it. It's a Divas match and a... Or a women's match and a... Male match. <laughs> uh, so... is Would that be two long matches? That would be kind of interesting to see. If that actually happens, I don't know. Maybe they'll take more the next time. Uh, I'll tell you, the last match was Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor, and it says there were said to be some amazing spots in this match. So, looking forward to that. Two months away though. <laughs> um, but oh, NXT, NXT. I love it. I've been, I've said it for so long. Uh, the NXT is better than the main roster like it's overall it's just better um, I said I said when I was you know when I do my YouTube videos I used to like in the WWE I'd always I used to end with watch NXT and this was like I don't know it would have been like 2013 early 2014 I used to say it all the time never got a response like that I very rarely do in my videos um, but it's just good you know, if you're not watching yet, if you're not taking, taking notice of NXT yet, you know, you get on it, because it's so good. So, so good. Um, uh, what more could I say? I could talk for ages about NXT. It's just so good, you know. Um, but I'll have my fast lane predictions uh, Saturday at some point. Uh, I'll do that then, after I've watched SmackDown and that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Tell me what you think of NXT. I think I've said it a few times now. Um, if it continues to be this good, I'll I'll start making a weekly NXT review thing. But um, yeah, this was so good. I loved it. Uh, how could you not? Um, tell me what you thought. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Show that like button some love. And I'll see you from a fast lane prediction. Bye. NXT is the shiznit, baby. Oh shit, fresh stop! <laughs>